Good morning, everybody. And um, I'm really excited to be here. It's, it's day 30 in the governor's office, and I'm here to announce my nomination for lieutenant governor. Starting today, we have an opportunity, and I believe it's an important one. We have an opportunity to show how a governor and lieutenant governor can work together as one team and in the best interest of all Rhode Islanders. You've heard me talk a lot about this idea over the years. Today, we make it a reality. In selecting a lieutenant governor, I was looking for someone to be true to governing, a governing partner, someone who shares my commitment to supporting our 39 cities and towns and our small businesses. And that's exactly what I found in Sabina. I know that Sabina Matos will help our administration serve all Rhode Islanders as we recover and rebuild from this pandemic. And I'm honored to nominate her for Lieutenant Governor today. I want to recognize Sabina's family who is here supporting her. It's a real American story. It's a tremendous American story and that's why I'm so thrilled to be here with Sabina today and you can listen to her story. It's inspirational. You should be very proud of Sabina, what she's accomplished, and all the good work I know she's prepared to do for Rhode Island. Sabina and I both got the start in public service on our city or town council in the community that we call home. It's where we learned about serving our neighbors and the crucial role that local government plays in all our lives. Having been Lieutenant Governor, I know the good work the office can do. The Lieutenant Governor leads the Small Business Advocacy Council, the Long-Term Care Coordinating Council, and the Emergency Management Advisory Council. Sabina Matos is ready to take on these responsibilities from the first day she takes office. But the office can do so much more than its statutory duties. I know from experience how the Lieutenant Governor can use the office to bring municipal leaders together and address some of the most pressing issues facing our communities. That's how we filled the class action lawsuit to hold Big, Pha Big Pharma accountable for their role in the opioid crisis. That's how we started an entrepreneurship challenge that, local, that empowered local high school students and encouraged them to turn their ideas into small businesses. Work like this will continue under our administration and our partnership with Sabina as Lieutenant Governor. Sabina will be stepping into this role at a time of unprecedented challenges for our state. She will be an important partner in our fight against COVID-19 and our efforts to get shots in the arms as quickly as possible to all, everybody who lives in the state of Rhode Island and our path to economic recovery from the pandemic and also our path to reset public schools in the state of Rhode Island. I also want to take a moment to thank all Rhode Islanders who participated in the Lieutenant Governor's selection process for sharing their ideas on how to move Rhode Island forward. I was speaking to one of the, uh, uh, the uh, interviewers that volunteered their time, and thank you to everybody that spent time on this process. It was uh, a new experience for all of us. So it was certainly a, uh, you know, an effort to uh, include people from around Rhode Island and have them participate in a way where they were uh, excited about what Rhode Island could be and they were able to share their ideas. So I want to thank all, everybody who did the interviews and everyone who participated in the process. And I look forward to working with each and every one of them uh, as we go forward. Many of them are going to be serving in uh, capacities in their own communities and at the statewide level. I'm sure of that and we help motivate that to happen. I'll end by saying, I've always believed that the best way to solve problems is bringing people together to find solutions. I know that Sabina shares that commitment to building bridges between our communities to build a stronger Rhode Island. Sabina, congratulations. I am looking forward to having you on the team and getting right to work. <laughs> 